a wow a wow i am i'm gonna say i'm speechless but i always have something to say but wow this is just amazing i get to learn more and more and i get to share it you know openly without um without any editing sorry there's like some i've been crying in a good way so my my glasses are right now stained but um it's just amazing i just got a beautiful call with a a gifted person a spiritually gifted person a medium for those who know him his name is woo woo dude so i got this beautiful gift from my partner where i got a session call with him so i've been blissfully um gifted with this call and great reminders about the things i was going through and sometimes you know the truth is in the simplicity you know the solution that you've been seeking is in simplicity anyhow the reason i was talking um, i was making a video today was about um about people you know um how people don't actually desire to be fixed you know if they they don't actually want to be want to be their highest self or like you so i had this presumption as i was growing that i felt so amazing and at peace and great i was like wow everybody must want to become more wise more peaceful in within more you know social more um forgiving more like in indirectly everybody wants to be their best version right but i thought in my presumption that people would like to be more like me but when i say me it's not because i'm the greatest person but more because i thought they would like to have the same skills being you know like the way i communicated the more the way i would be really wise in my words the way you know i would be more um social smiley dynamic always seeing the positive in things you know and the truth is the people don't like to be told what to do especially when they don't ask for it you know people have their own path their own journey their own limitations and i always thought hey if I am willing to give them all the great things and how I went through and how I can develop myself, people will want to be like that too, you know? And then this is where my presumption was wrong, right? And it comes back to the fact, you know, as I'm journaling, as I'm growing and evolving, it comes back to the fact that you, you must become a light to others, right? The lighthouse, the one that guides with the torch in the darkness, show them the way. But the person itself still has the intention, I mean, the freedom of will to go and follow the light or choose to stay where they are. I don't, you know, in this case, I don't want to say that they couldn't choose a darker place, but perhaps more stay in the status quo, right? Because it's much more comfortable because when you're into your ego and your lowest self, you, um, you kind of think, you believe that it's so much harder to actually progress in towards your higher self and follow this light is too much effort, too much energy to go there because you're such in a place of low esteem and low self that you already don't have a lot of energy to start with. So looking at what I'm really willing to offer them and what the great things that you can achieve when you are becoming this higher self seems so far apart and so demanding in terms of energy that it's like they don't want to so then when i come up and i say and i propose things and i suggest things and the reason why i'm making this video is following my my week i spent in the traveling with my family like my close family and going um and we can i would get we can get away with my girlfriends and those moments you know i came up from I've always been detached from friendships in general in the sense that I know they come and go. I went to being very close with a friend to she left me for no reason or she, she was not able to process her emotions to let me know. So I felt a kind of abandonment for it to, okay, well, people are not like me and I don't, 
I don't see myself with them or they're they're too they're not in the same path so how can I connect with them you know like they're not spiritual enough let's say but then again I was following my own spiritual ego and casting them away or projecting myself into greater thing where we can still be friends and embrace those differences so to that point to now accepting their differences and allowing them to be so as I was growing every time they would tell me stories I would be so detached from the story itself or the issue because for me it doesn't matter for me it's not a big deal right so it was a challenge for me to be like oh yeah I hear you I understand you oh yeah I would feel the same because I wouldn't feel like them right but now instead I'm understanding that that's where they are and what this what they need is actually just support and loving support and I can use those relationships like opportunities to understand better humankind to understand better all of our challenges because at the end of the day we're just one right but to understand better where they're coming from and to understand and use that as an opportunity for me to one let go let go of their own journey let go of their own growth and two becoming more of a light while letting them be so becoming the example so instead of imposing unconsciously to them what they should be doing because you know the path for them to become better you're like hey but everybody knows right everybody knows how to get healthier how to get more attractive how to get more confident everybody knows but actually doing it is another thing right it's easier said to be done so now i'm focusing on myself in the sense that i am i want to really focus back on divine love you know what would jesus do how what set of action should you do next that will emanate divine love how can you love your friends and family more at that moment especially when you are being provoked by the egos especially when you're being challenged and you're having a fight or discussion or an argument especially during those times you cannot expect them to act from a higher place you cannot expect them to act consciously and be distant and be wise and be um how should i say it very calm you have to hold it all on to yourself but do it out of love don't try to show them better right if your intention is to show them better they will perceive it like that and this is what happened in my week vacation unconsciously i wanted so much for them to act in a better way according to a situation that it came off like i was bragging about myself it came off like i was feeling superior about them which was not my intention but unconsciously because of the energy i brought behind they took it this way right so it all depends of what are your thoughts but your intention at heart and also are you doing that out of love or out of ego are you trying to prove them a point or are you trying to teach them a lesson or are you trying to do it because you actually love and care for this person and this is where you know and it's okay right we all live in this experience of life where you in and out because we're imperfect we step in into this lower self we step out of it we step in into the higher self so this is what i'm experiencing and i'm so blessed to be able to be aware of that and be willing to learn from it so now my conclusion is that i actually understand now people don't actually want to become like me or have the same tools or affections or um, gifts or um, attributes that i that i have that can actually elevate your life because one like i said it's too much effort or too much energy where they're at in their life it's too much to ask for them and two it's simply not their role some people and one of my my texts i wrote was to rejoice in your role and then funny enough everything is connected i was reading i was watching a service yesterday and they were saying that we all we are all members of a body the body of christ we're all members of god we're an extension of God, basically. But each member, each organ of our body, let's say we talk about the physical body, one member, one part of the body is not more important than the other, right? 
every one of us has a specific role, have a duty, have a kind of purpose, right? So the whole creates in harmony. If there would be too much, let's say, fingers in the body, well, you would lack the limbs and it would be out of balance. So everything must have its place to pertain this divine balance. So the same goes with personalities and people. People cannot, first, I cannot expect them to be like me and they cannot be like me simply because every one of us is meant to be their own. We each have our own role. And it's a blessing, divine balance. So as I'm growing and stepping into my mentorship in my coaching program, I I am learning and I must learn to understand that each have their own journey, but also each have their own role. So before I would be hoping for them to become more like the attributes I had, but now I'm understanding, hey, help, let's help them become their greatest self. What is it? If this person is introvert and their interest is that and to not deal with people and not help humankind. Because for me, I thought like everybody wants to help humankind. But this is not true. Some people just want to take care of themselves only in their own, in their own journey and heal themselves. They don't look into others, right? And this is why some people tell me this is a gift, Macy. If you desire to help humankind and you have this deep desire within you, to, to you have this mission within you, but maybe this is something special. This is a reason that you're meant to do, but not everybody has this mission, you know? And I thought it was like so self-explanatory and self-evident hey everybody wants to help other people everybody love everyone everybody forgive everyone and i used to judge them instead we'd start to insult others or think that humans are stupid or 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 cast them away or, or want to leave off in an island and be out of people people would not like would not like hum other humans but rather want to hang out with animals all types of things you know so now, with this beautiful takeaway, I'm, I'm understanding now that I must just be a light and act out of love, divine love. Don't try to show them less and don't try to show them better. Don't try to show them that your being and your growth is what they should be getting. Just let it go and trust that, see their beauty, appreciate who they are right now, love them for, for who they are right now. And from there, you'll be not only more freed and easygoing with your relationship with them, but also you'll be able to, to live more freely, be more kind to yourself and others, be more at peace. And finally, um, they're going to sense, they're going to feel safe around you for real. They're going to sense that they are loved unconditionally. Because right now, before, I used to love them conditionally. In a sense, of course, I, I wouldn't hate them because they wouldn't be, let's say, not caring enough. But more in a sense that like, hey, if you do that, I will love you more. Right? Unconsciously, maybe I was doing that. I don't know. And they will sense that they feel loved un unconditionally. They will see you act out of love out of inspiration and they will feel inspired in turn they will feel like they want to reach out they will feel like they can have hope to do more because you don't expect anything anymore from them so that's it love you very much see you very soon